guys, the modeling clay of constant resistivity is formed into a cylindrical shape. So resistance R between its flats and shaded is measured. So there are two surface area here. Let the surface area to be A. Okay. Let the surface area to be A. And there's length L. So the same volume of the putty is reformed into a cylindrical of the different length. So this question, we are changing the length of your clay here. So the resistance R between the flex end is measured for each value of length. So which graph best shows the variations of the R with L? So you are going to investigate the shape of the graph between the R and the L. So what we are going to do here is to find out what is the variation between R and L. So you're going to look into different equations and going to find out the final equation which relating the resistance and the length. So first of all, there's information given in the question here, the same volume. We write an equation of the volume of this example. Volume V will be equal to the area times the length. So it's a cross-sectional area multiplied with the extended length, L here. So it's A times L. So we, don't, we do not have the area in our graph, so we're going to remove the area in our equation later. So what we have here is the volume is constant. So we're going to rewrite the equation as area equal to the volume divided by the length. So area is proportional to 1 over the length. So this is your first variation. Next is to work on the resistance. R. So R resistance is proportional to the length over surface area. We're going to change the area here to the variation of the length. So R will be proportional to length divided by 1 over L. So R will be proportional to L squared. So this is a quadratic relationship. So the quadratic relationships you have from the options is D. So D will be the correct answer for this one.